welcome to Harman Manyore's YouTube channel. My name is Jadiel Kabir. It's always a pleasure to see you joining us for our political conversations, conversations that I usually say I hope will be able to build, guide this country, even as we're progressing towards this year's general elections. My name is Jadiel Kabir. I'm joined by Harman Manyore, political analyst. Sir, how are you doing today? I'm fine. You're I'm fine? Good. Yes. You know, you're trending, by the way. The revelations of Manyora is in Azimio Ndani Ndani Ndani. There's a video of you with Hassan Joho, 001, trending. People are calling me to, to I mean, yeah? I just bumped into Joe and the Serena. I had gone for a cup of tea. I saw, people, people are calling me, asking me. I didn't even me. know those interviews were going on. Yeah. Even at the time I was talking to Joe, I didn't know what he had come to do. Oh. But I was surprised to see so many people from, nah, from what do you call it? ODM. Yeah, Azimio. Come, uh, Azimio. Yeah. I said, what, what, they're meeting here? Yeah, so you're not, you're not conducting the interview? You're no, not, it's not. You're not with, with them? Who am I? I'm not part of the team. I'm not part of Azmi. I'm not part of Raila or Uru. But someone called me and, and he was telling me that you should be part of the team. Would you tip, if they called you and said, uh, come and help us in Azimio? Not in a small position because I don't want to be part of the mess. If they call me to head the campaign, I would. Practically head of campaign. Uh -huh. Yes. And I'll make a difference. Let's talk about the mess that you're speaking about. Alfred Mutua has joined Kenya Kwanzaa. Um, some people are saying that this isn't good for Raila. And even I, I think I saw an article that says the fall of Azimio, one Kenya coalition party. Is this the beginning of the end? No. You know, this is, this is a transfer season. I want to borrow from football. Uh, so people move up and down, left and, sit and right. You know, this is normal. So what for you? Yeah, and they, we ain't seen nothing yet, as Americans will say. Well, what impact? We could even see bigger names living, living as me or bigger names living UDA. I mean, it's kind of a game. It has happened before many times. What are we seeing in our political scene right now when you see Pali, the, uh, Governor King, you see Alfred Mutua also going towards Kenya Kwanzaa? What, what does the game look like for you? You know, people are looking for excuses to leave. Some of them are even childish. Uh, but again, you know, these things come with some rewards, even monetary rewards. This is politics. Uh, so you wouldn't know, but the question you must ask yourself, when someone like Mutua leaves, does it hurt as a mirror, like you're saying? Does it? No. He's a man of no consequence. A governor, Machako's governor, governor, no consequence. Governor. No, that is a, that's a low, low game. This is a big game. Ah, yeah, of course. If he stood, how many votes could he get? Even fifty thousand, even twenty thousand. But you must. He could he get two hundred thousand as governor? Eh. But try running for office, up there, rice for Jamhuri of Kenya. Eh. Six thousand votes. They should ask in a muita, in a mother, karua, in a pike. This is a big game. Things do change. Oh, when you, when you begin mentioning you want to be president. <laughs> That's why I'm, 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 I'm approaching it cautiously. But when you look at the impact, we are seeing the perception yes. right now is that Ruto is gaining a lot of political mileage. That is the perception, yes. And isn't this hurting Raila because it's good it is changing? It could hurt in two ways. One, some people who are not so sure huh. can say that they the winning side. And some of people even who are with us may say, may begin doubting. And that could cause shifts, huh. but more seriously, apathy. And this would hurt Raila, so he must deal, deal with that. Okay. Uh, yeah, it's, it's, it's not a very good thing. What, what then are you reading from Alfred Mutua's move? First of all, speaking about the parties, the smaller parties not seeing the agreements uh, and the documentation of the coalition agreements that was put there before, I think in April, and now saying that it seems like even he himself mm -hmm. says, Akuf Kuzaya Kwambi Toka. So what that, is happening right now? Let me tell you, there are many things. You can read in many ways. Some of these people are even planted. Huh? Yeah, in, in the fullness time, you see, the fullness of time. You saw these guys tearing those arguments. Mm. Someone like Mutua and other groups share your argument that are two pages. It's rubbish. Uh, but you see, you're a young man. As you grow up, <laughs> let me give you a piece of wisdom. <laughs> a mark of intelligence is not in knowing many things. <laughs> A mark of intelligence in know, is knowing what you can, what you can't, who you are, vis-a-vis -vis other people okay. in the environment. Uh, if you are a small player like Mutua, uh, you must know you are small. Uh, you want to have breakfast every day with Raila. It's not in your league. <laughs> He'll be meeting Uru or Kalonzo. He can't be meeting with you. You are a small fly. 
Hey. You know, so to be intelligent is to know that reality. Okay. When Mutua was supporting Jubilee, hey. was he having his breakfast with Ruto, with Uhuru and Ruto every morning? No. So he thinks Raila is his equal. That's what their problem, Bikina King. Raila is not their equal. These are small people. So you're saying yeah. in those coalition agreements, they must agree that smaller yeah, parties small cannot people. dine it's with... It's good to agree. Once you agree you are Mutua, I'm young, mm. I am small, I mean in compared to Raila, Uhuru, and Kalonzo, once you agree and you play within as me with that knowledge, huh. and you, the future belongs to young people. Begin working on your future. But if you say the kind of things he's saying now, this makes him look like a child. But what you, you say I signed, we were given the last page to sign. Eh? A man who wants to be president <laughs> of a country eh? can say he was given the last page of a document as serious, huh. as serious the coalition agreement, hmm. to sign the last page. Oh, excuse me. But I think you were, I think you were on sure. TV with someone from Waipa. And you're saying he agrees that there needs to be something done within Azimio, one Kenya coalition. That's what I said. It's a big issue. If they asked me to work for them, it has to be at the top. Head of campaign. Not anything small. Not so that I can fix all those things. These are small things. Let me tell you. I hope someone tells Raila. And that's why Ruto is scoring on that front. Human beings. A human being is a psychological bundle. We, we are softer than we think we are. You see someone like Mayora appearing tough. Yeah. This is just a weak, I'm just clay. We are just clay, we are weak. Uh, we put on a facade of toughness, of knowing everything, but we are just weak. So, uh, meeting human beings when they have issues uh, to air out. Yeah. Yeah. It's a, it works magic. So what does Mio would need to do? Uh, is to create forums and listen to these people. Let them pour out what they have to say. Mm. Then, then they'll come to senses. Once you have spoken, it's okay. We have heard you. Yeah. And you have a point. Mm. But you know we need the presidents. And if we do what you are saying, we don't want to get the presidents. Okay. Somebody just listening to people. Mm. And that, from my discussion with people, especially those who have left Azimio, mm. and those who are within Azimio but not happy, mm. it comes out clearly that Uhuru is unreachable. Okay. People even he used to talk to, they like can no longer pick their calls. Mm. This is it's now coming out very clear. Maybe it's a strategy, I don't know. Mm. But that's not how you run public affairs. You give people an opportunity to feel they are also people. Yeah. Even small people like the tour. Mm. Listen to them. Having breakfast with them as Serena one day won't kill you if you are a healer. Just an hour meeting. Yeah, or just allowing the tour to come to State House. You'll feel so nice. Mm. You'll tell everybody, I'm just from State House. Oh. Yeah. Because he was actually saying that he was told if he wants, I think some people are saying if he wants to go see the documentation, he should go to state yeah. they are there, which is obviously an and you know you can't enter. Yeah. So I'm saying Raila and, 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 and Uhuru must know that human beings mm. want to be heard. Mm. You know? Yeah. Want to feel they are something, they are somebody. Mm. You know, they belong. Mm. They are part of us, Mio. That they are making Raila president. Mm. And they have us taking the presidency. Mm. But if you never listen to them, mm. you don't pick their phones, their calls, you don't do it. You know, they try so hard to see you, they can't. And there's William Ruto there waiting for them. Come, come, come. Bouncing and come. And those we are could have a cup of tea and even a cake on top. Uh, yeah, we could look, do a few sausages and, uh, you know. When you, when you look at... When you go home, you may not really have to bother about it. Uh, dinner today. <laughs> I'm just saying. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 So they will sort of bounce on them. Yeah. But again, like I'm saying, this is politics. Some of these people could be planted there strategically mm. and to leave when it hurts most. Some are saying that he was visiting Kenya Kwanzaa at night. We don't know whether that's it is possible. That's this, true this or is not. a politician. But when you look at this trajectory, uh, sometimes very narrow minded people. The way Azimio seems right now, people would say that Raila is likely to lose. When you look at what is happening in terms of leaders leaving, the chaos, even the deputy choice has been made public. You know, we're seeing uh, this running mid position being publicized, the, the nomination, the interviews. Is Raila likely to lose if this continues? I want to be made to believe how Raila can lose this election because it's not about running on the roads, hmm. it's about the numbers. I have tried and I've told you repeatedly. I have cracked this thing. Not for Ayla, eh, not for Guinness Norton, but just to see this excitement on the road. Mm. Can it translate to the numbers? They are not there. I have I, I go county by county, region by region, tribe by tribe. I have done all the simulations. 
And if I was heading the Raila campaign, he would beat Ruto by two point something million votes. If I was the one, so the eight they would beat him. Last time. They would beat him by about five seven hundred thousand. I would do two with points. votes on the ground. Votes, really votes. Really human beings voting for him. What would you do for him? I will handle some of these small things that are, are causing the mess. Uh, yeah, uh, I will put the house in order in a way they are not. I'm not seeing them doing. And therefore, instead of beating Ruto by say 700, 800, uh, just below a million, hmm. I will do two point five. I will do two point five for Raila. Some would say that Kalonzo is the person who is holding Raila's votes right now. It if, may if, be true. If, if Kalonzo leaves, as Mutua has, because of these minor issues, because even Mutua was saying that Waipa hasn't even seen the documentation too. If Kalonzo leaves, what will this mean for Raila? I've been on TV, and uh, I've been told that sometimes back, and I was saying this. You see, the arithmetic is not as simple as some people want to put it. At one plus one is equal to two. That's the politics. That if Kalonzo leaves, then he leaves with the numbers. First of all, that in itself is not true. Because even when Kalonzo was deep in Azimio, and it was NASA, NASA, NASA who would manage 20 something percent of the votes mm. from Ukamba? Yeah. You get what I'm saying? Yes. So it's not like Kalonzo, if you are to leave, you will leave with 100%. Mm. Unless he stood, and even if he stood, Baila will still get twenty something percent of the votes. Now, the point I'm trying to make is this: mm. Do these people know what this exodus, if you can, the one to call it exodus, yeah. people are leaving us? Yeah. Do they know how one plus one may become four and instead of three, instead of two? How? 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 One plus one is a subject of my video. Mutua, Mutua has it's left. A subject of my video on Saturday. Give us a hint first. A hint is this. Why do you think Mount Kenya was firmly with Ruto? Yeah. They know the college don't have two million votes. And therefore, this was their government. Yeah. This was their government. Yeah. And there's no way Ruto will do anything to them. He will do nothing without them. Yeah. They are the owners of UDA. Yeah. They are the owners of Ruto government. Now, when the people begin going there, what signal is that sending? Yeah. Mount Kenya has been, wait a moment. It's not. Are we as important as we were? It's not really ours. It's, not, no, it's no longer ours. People are coming in a mutu and talking about agreement. I'm a promise. Monaco agreement. Yeah. I'm a promise. You are ambassador. Now the people who are saying they are not campaigning on the platform of sharing positions. Huh. Now somebody is coming with. Uh, they were in my village promising whatever this be thirty or forty percent of government yeah. ambassador. Yeah. This they said they were not going to do that. Yeah. That was for Ireland. Uru. Sisi ni wana inch. That's another Ugawana. But <laughs> you see now, you saw Mutua with this agreement. Yes. He's talking about ambassadors inside and what have you. CSS, Kawan, Katu. What do you think the Kikuyus are now? Uh, they are now leaving the region wide open, wide open for? For Raila. And the message I'll be sending on my, in my video is they are falling into a trap set by genius Uhuru Kenyatta, genius Raila Odinga. What is a trap? Uh, the trap is to put the Lu and the Kikuyu together. Uh, Ruto is succeeding in doing exactly that. Uh, now they are putting the Luos and the Kikuyu unbeatable uh, for a little while into the future. So you think this is why Mutua yes. will come and say, "Out to Mefukuzwa"? Yes, he yeah. wants Raila yeah. wants them to yeah, go. Let them go. Then, then the Kikuyu. Oh, oh. And then let Raila name a running mate from Mount Kenya. Then you see. <laughs> for every vote, one vote Ruto gets, Raila gets. Them. One plus one equals yeah. four. <laughs> and then this is their government. And going into the future, yeah. and you don't know what Alua will be oh. if the Kikuyu support Raila to be president. They will support the Kikuyu for another 30 years. Let's finish no, up. <laughs> Let's finish. I have just one. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> that is a good See how politics works. One plus one equals four. <laughs> People don't know. They think it's so simple. Yeah. They think it's so simple that if Mudavad leaves Kenya Kwanza today yeah. and joins Raila, yeah. automatically he ups Raila's votes in Western. No, it doesn't work like that. I would want there are other challenges, there are dynamics. Yeah, yeah. in the mix. He's sick of myself in primary school, two plus two is equal to four. Yeah. At the Kalonza, Kitoka, Kuraza yeah. Wakaba, No, it's not that simple. Sometimes two plus equals minus. You could minus. go with all those two million votes, but the Kikus give Raila four million or three million. When you look at now, Mutua's move, Kingi's move, they know the ideologies of these two coalitions. Yes. Kenya Kwanza 
and uh, Azimio la Umoja. Does this mean that there are no real ideologies within these parties? Because you can one day say Raila is best suited, and tomorrow say it is a Ruto is changing this country. You see, that is why somebody like Raila stands head and shoulder be above these people. He's in a different class. You look at the consistency. Huh. Even at the most challenging times when he should say something or jump, huh. she's there. So these are boys in politics. And that's why they are moving. They are just boys in politics. Because if you look at the excuses they are mm-hmm. giving, mm-hmm. oh, we are not, we are not receiving money, funding. Kumbo, you want to pesa kwa zimio? Yeah. Oh, nafikiri pesa kina uru ni raisi, right? Pesa uru, nafikiri ni raisi? Hey, Toki. Ya uru? Eh. Na raila? Eh. My friend, where na unga raila mkona na uru? Don't go for money. These guys will not give you money. If you want money, perhaps is where they have gone. Not this guy. This guy won't give you money. I know this. Yeah, 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 y